Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Dota 2, welcome back to Ability Arena, and welcome back to the channel, I'm welcoming myself back, because I've been away for quite a while, I haven't uploaded since January the 27th, which was the final day I was actually 29, I'm 29, the final day I was 28, I'm 29 now, my birthday was actually the day after that, and even before any of that, I was saying to myself, 2024 is going to be the year where I work on content more. I haven't uploaded in four months. It's currently a is it April right now. <laughs> I've lost track of time myself. It's currently April. We're four months into 2024 and I have a single video uploaded to this channel. Or maybe I've got two or three. I don't know why I uploaded early January. Or is it? Option below. And that channel is going to be quality projects are going to go. And that channel is and and that channel is going to be quality projects are going to go the projects are going to go turn into a music channel into a music channel where I've worked on my own and today's video is going to be talking brief and today's video is going to be talking briefly about that and briefly about where this channel is going where, where's my life going what's happening what's going to happen and my dreams and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's accept this game and get straight into today's video. If it'll let me accept. Okay. Right here we are, we're into the game. I'm picking Side Shot Man, he's one of the easiest gods to play on this game. And we're standing up with wild axes already. Interesting. And we get a free spin. Ooh, Spirit Siphon, that's good as well. I'll take both of those just to start out the early games. Now, I've got a few things I want to talk about. One of the main things being the next chapter of my life. Now, the main thing to take from this video is I am never going to stop making content. I'm always going to make some sort of content in in the world, like on this platform or another platform or online or wherever. And also, let me just check. Who is it? Crows of skin. And my next chapter in my life, hopefully, will progress content creation to a new level. So, if you don't know anything about me, my I have a dream destination where I want to live in the future. And that place is Switzerland. Now, I'm not moving there. Uh, that is not the plan right now. That is hopefully a long-term goal. But I have a short-term goal for a destination where I would love to live some of my life in, and that is a place on the never e the east coast. I was going to say never eat shreddy wheat just to get the northeast southwest bit. I want to live on the east coast in a place called Bridlington. I used to go there as a kid with my grandma like every single year, and it was the one place I'd always look forward to just going. We'd spend a week there, we'd stay in a caravan, we'd you know, go to the beach, go to the arcades, go to, you know, restaurants, pubs, cafes, um, you know, play mini golf, go to the model village, we'd go to Sobe Holland Gardens, which was like a little museum sort of thing, it was amazing, we'd ride Burnton Bertie, you know, we'd go potentially swimming, we'd go, we'd do everything, we'd go to the pier, we'd go for fish and chips. I'm not a fish person, so I'd probably have sausage and chips and probably do as a kid. It was a break from reality in a way, a break from life. It was a place I'd just, you know, I'd love going. And then a old family friend bought a house in Brid and I'd go over it a lot of the time, you know, spend some time there. It was great. I loved it. And it's a place where I would like to go live in the future now. It is somewhere I want to go. And that is going to be my next chapter in life, is moving there. I've been looking at houses to potentially rent, which you know would be a dream come true if I could actually get somewhere there to rent. I have my eye on a place, or like two or three places that you know you can... I've got a right move basically, and you can favourite you know, properties to look at. I've favourited two or three, I think. Maybe, maybe one or two, and you know, if I can 
somehow transfer from here to there, I would in a heartbeat, and that is the next chapter of my life. I don't know when that'll be, it might be next month, it might be next year, for all I know. But that is my dream in life, is to move to Brid. And I actually decided just to jump on Indeed and have a look at jobs in Bridlington and the area. And I came across a very particular, very specific job role from this certain company. I'm not going to name names or anything because I don't want it to like jeopardise anything or you know I don't want to cause any drama or problems or anything like that. But the job role was for a uh, content creator or content creation. So essentially, be you know creating long and short form videos, YouTube shorts, you know TikToks, this sort of things, creating media for different platforms and stuff. And if you watch this video, you can tell that it's right up my alley is content creation because you know look look at my channel I've been doing this for 10 years I haven't blown up or anything like that I'm on 1.3k subs I'm still here still going content creation is a dream of mine and if I was able to do it as a job that would be incredible that would be a dream come true and that would also tie in with me being able to move to Bridlington because it, it, this job is quite close I think it's like an hour's drive or maybe not even that, maybe like a half an hour drive, 50 minute drive and like 30 minutes or 45 minutes by bus. I don't drive, but this would push me to learn to drive if I can move to Brid, get this job, then I've learned to drive. It'd be a triple whammy of mine and it would progress me in life so much. But I want to uh, bring up another thing right now, obviously my second channel, my huge products channel and my music channel. I have been making music for the last month or two and it has been something I've enjoyed a lot more than anything else. I am not going to claim to be an artist or a musician or anything like that. I am not a rapper, I'm not a hip hop artist, I'm not anything. I'm simply a content creator but at the end of the day I've really enjoyed doing it and I feel like I can progress in into something much much more. So. I feel like it is something I can work on and be good at and create a name for myself in but also at the same time obviously you know it's creating a name in that that side like of content but also raising my name of content in general online obviously I am Mr. Evo or Evo that is that is my whole online persona my second channel is Evo Squared it's like me but even better it's like where my huge projects are going to go for example, I want to do like, you know, Minecraft movies, Rust movies, and like, you know, speedrun videos where I speedrun like seven different things and put it into one whole like half an hour video. Well edited, well documented, well scripted, and one of those sort of videos where it's like, damn, this is a banger. Unlike this channel where this is the journey channel where you'll just see everything and anything. It can be commentaries, it can be gameplay, it can be let's plays. It doesn't have to be the highest of quality, but it's here to exist nonetheless. And I feel like having that second channel is going to help out a lot, especially if I really put all my time and effort into those videos, but still put all my time and effort into making content. And obviously, it also ties into the the dream job role that I have seen, and I've I've applied for it. Whether or not um, I will get it or not is in a whole different matter. But I've put in a cover letter saying it's a dream of mine to move to the coast, to Billington. This is a job that's really close there and I do create content in my spare time. I currently work here. I'm working hard here every single day. I'm travelling. I am working on content f to and from work by either brainstorming notes, writing down lyrics for videos, well, lyrics for music or you know scripts for videos. I'm always working on something non-stop and I barely get time to relax or sleep and it's it's taken a toll on me this week because I have actually been ill since Monday of this week and we're calling this on a Friday. We had a rain day on Monday and it, it killed me off nearly. I say that it knocked him off Monday, I worked through it, I was fine, I didn't feel bad the Tuesday, I was starting to get a cold and I was like oh this is not good, looking good. The Wednesday I was out of it, I was awful. I, I could barely do anything and I was thinking of calling a half day at work but I stuck, it, I stuck at it, I stayed, I pushed through and Thursday I felt so much better yesterday and today is Friday and I have, I'm at like 85% but I've had the day off so I've been asleep all day, relaxed all day and now it's the evening time slash night time 
we're here making content, I'm ready to grind, I'm going to stay up all night, make a few videos here and there, and get back to making content, and I hopefully can bring a wave of content to you guys, and hopefully ones you'll enjoy, so if you do like it, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I also want to talk about a sort of dream project idea, and sort of collab idea that I have in the works right now as well, which is a mix between gaming and podcasting. And it's going to be me making videos with, you know, my friends and people I know and, you know, potentially anybody who wants to jump on this idea. And it's basically going to be playing games with people's favourite game, you know, on people's favourite games and sort of interviewing them and learning more about them, getting to know them, asking them questions, getting them to ask me questions, talk about topics and stuff like that. Like a podcast, you know, would and all meanwhile playing, you know, video games basically. I think it'd be a nice little blend. I do have ideas of people who I know would really love to jump on this and also friends that I would just want on it anyway. For example, me and Logan, we could play some, you know, COD Zombies or Custom Zombies on Black Ops 3 so I can record through PC. But if we do Modern Warfare 3, the latest COD, I'll have to stream it and that would be probably like the big pilot. I'd stream it and then everybody can see like behind the scenes all the bits that you've missed. You can see it all live as it comes through and the edited version will be on the other second channel or it'd be on this channel as the first episode like pilot the pilot episode will be on this channel just so you guys can get a brief idea if you like it or not maybe I'll put a few on here and then I'll move it eventually over to the main channel the main channel, the second channel, the Evo Squared channel, the huge products channel as I feel like that is where it would sort of belong we're actually going to do really well in this uh, pantheon round here, we're actually going to win this which is really crazy What's the actual thing here as well? Spell amplification. Interesting. I had a flame guard, which is really good. Now, what do I want here, though? I feel like I'm going to take... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to take the Fusal Blade. And I'm going to put out the next hero that is going to be my Fox Fire hero. As you can probably tell. I do also need a fourth ability for them, though could be anything, it's going to be more like a passive than anything. As you can see, I'm playing Ability Arena again. It's still a dream of mine to get a documented win on this. I have wins, I don't think I've got them recorded. Luminosity is good, but we're going to put that on this. The um, Plague Wards summon build. These two abilities on Plague Wards is insane. Ooh, I've seen reactive armor there. And I feel like I need reactive armor on this build. Right, we have got Naga Siren. It's not who I wanted. I need a ranged hero if possible. But regardless, it is what it is. We'll take him. And we'll do that. Now, I'm pretty sure I've got most of the topics I've got you know, out right there that I want to talk about. And that is pretty much it. But I want to talk more about the, the podcast gaming idea that I have. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but it's going to be a great project for me. It's like I say, Logan, we can play Call of Duty and zombies together. Me and him, we absolutely love zombies, just any and any zombies in general. Obviously, custom zombies is my thing. Um, mainstream zombies is his thing. Like, you can't knock him. He's one of the greatest co uh, well zombies players I've ever played with and known about. Obviously, second to me. Obviously. But he's up there, he loves zombies more than I do, and I thought I love zombies a lot. But I mean, when it comes to Call of Duty, quick scoping is probably more my thing, but when it comes to like PC, COD, custom zombies is my thing. And I'm probably going to record a bunch of that after this, so I can't wait for that. I have Wiggles, who I think would jump on it with David, so it'll be like a dual episode, I reckon. Wiggles and David will be a huge episode. Mainly because, like, obviously David is a paramedic. I feel like I'd have a lot of interesting questions for him. Wiggles is a content creator that got me more into streaming. You know, she's kept me in check. She's like, I call her my auntie Wiggles. She's like an auntie to me. She keeps me in check. She always asks how I'm doing, you know. We have that thing where we bounce back and forth. I haven't talked to her in a while, so to be fair, I might uh, ask her how she's doing after this video I recorded it. But I feel like her and David would be great for an episode. I have, who else do I have? Um, there's a few people on Twitter that are some of Logan's mutuals, uh, like Logan and uh, Wiggles mutuals. 
I can't remember the names of off the top of my head. I know one's Guardian Devil. I know I'd, I'd be interested in recording some content with him. He's not a uh, not a bad lad. And if I jump on Twitter really quickly right now, I'll possibly see something from somebody in a second. So let me just scroll. I'll find somebody. Ah, post start loading right now. Cool. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think it's Guardian Devil. I'll literally. Yeah, Gandhi, I spoke to him on Twitter not so long ago because he actually tagged me in a, a creative thing for a, a Rebirth tournament. I don't play Rebirth, but, you know, he's tagged me in Logan in that. Shall we jump on some Rebirth, lads, some of these days? But I would love to have you on this game podcast sort of thing that I want to go on. I think he'd line up for it really well. I've got some people at work that I work with that I know would probably jump on it, which would be great. One of them is probably watching this right now, um, because he, I had, I added him on Discord just the other day, like that's longer, and he was like, oh, I didn't know it was you, and then blah blah. He was like, oh yeah, he's got a YouTube channel by the way, this guy. I was like, yeah yeah, but I haven't uploaded him in a while, and then he was like, yeah, three months, and I was like, making content, sort of, I'm still ill, sort of, I'm still ill, you can probably, sort of, I'm still ill, you can probably hear it in my voice that I'm a bit raspy, but I'm here to grind. Had today off, but I relaxed and recovered because I needed to do it. I've got Monday off. I've got a four-day weekend, and I'm ready. I'm ready to elevate my life in a way. I've gone through a bit of a struggle this month and last month. Well, this this year, to be fair, I've hit some uh, speed bumps, but we get over them. Nothing's gonna stop us. Nothing's gonna stop me. We got this. 2024 is still my year, and. We're, re we're ready for it. If you are here for the journey, hopefully you stick around, hopefully you do enjoy everything, and hope you enjoy all the content. And like I say, I'm always here to collab and create content with anybody and everybody. And I mean anybody and everybody. If you want to work on content, if you want to play games with me, comment down below. I'm going to get back into making everything content-wise. I want to jump back on Destiny, I want to jump back on Siege, I want to play more Minecraft, make some more Minecraft Let's Plays, or make more content on there. I want to play more Call of Duty, which I have been. I've actually been grinding for, well, you know, camo grinding basically. I've got it up on my screen right here on my left because I'm about to play it as I edit it, I reckon. And you've got to complete Forge camo challenges to get to priceless challenges. I'm on 24 out of 36, I've got 12 more guns left to get. I'm two thirds of the way there for the priceless camo. And once you get to prizes combo, that is just one challenge on the guns you've already got it all on, just to complete another challenge to get done. And I've just seen the Mars one here. Get two operator headshot kills in one life ten times. Jesus Christ, get two headshots in a life ten times. That could be difficult. But I'm here for it, I'm here for the grind. And we're absolutely getting demolished by this guy at the top. But let me check the rank, let me check the rank. Yeah, it doesn't stop playing this game. But we're not here for the content. I mean, we're not here for the gameplay. We're here for the commentary and the content, the inspiration. The oh, let me let me reroll this hero really quickly as well. We'll take an arc ordinance, arranged agility S rank hero. We take that all day, every day. I might even get Curse of Avernus because it's there. But I also saw Buscar's burning spears is in the pool. I might get that. Like I said, yeah, I want to go back to Destiny, Siege, Minecraft, COD. A bit of FIFA maybe here and there, I've actually lost interest in the AAFC. Maybe some real life things. I've played Pokemon Rogue recently, I've got two episodes of that lined up ready to like to upload. It has got a bit of a bad mic, maybe this mic in this video is really bad right now. I've got a bit of fine tuning to do, but this is the channel where the journey happens. I don't care about this channel too much. But yeah, like I said, I want to play more Pokemon Rogue, which has been an excellent game that's started trending recently. I want to play more Pokemon ROM hacks, which I keep saying I'm going to do. I keep saying I'm going to do Pokemon randomizers, ROM hacks, and let's plays on that. I'm going to get it done. I'm going to do more speed runs. I'm going to do more challenge videos. I'm going to do box openings. I have a sort of box opening ready. I there it is, Benny Spears. I ordered myself a well, I ordered myself three different sized um, random boxes of UK, like not UK candy, but like you know candy from you know other countries in the world and it's from a place called the candy plug uk i can't wait to receive like my uh you know my, my order 
because I've got a, okay, I think I've got an extra small, a small and a medium mystery box, all three of them, and I'm going to open them all on video and make a video about it. That will probably be on the second channel though, more than likely, but if I have any shots from that, which I'm going to hopefully generate a lot of shots from that, that'll go on this channel. So, and I've just had a uh, message from my good friend, oh, I had a good message, I had a message from my good friend River today, that is what we, uh, we call her, and we're probably going to play Call of Duty soon again, and I know that's going to create competition because we both play hardcore on Call of Duty, and we had this competition where we were trying to get the most kills in a game, and I'm pretty sure she's ahead of me right now. I'm going to check my stats really quickly right now as I've got Call of Duty on my other monitor right here to the left. I'm pretty sure I'm on 114, I think, or she might be on 114, I will ask you in a second. What am I on? I'm on 114. I think she might be on 116 or 118 then. The most kills I've had in game is 114. Like, that's red gunning as well. That is no ki no kill streaks, no semtexes, grenades, claymores, mines, bombs, explosions, throwing knives, ninja stars, or anything like that. Pure red gun only kills. No stabbing, knifing, smacking, no right shield on the back. Just pure guns. Pure kills on it with a gun. 114. The highest kill streak is 26 as well. Which is unfortunate because obviously I want to get an MGB. I want to stream Call of Duty again more. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna stream probably tonight actually, which would be great to see. And hopefully I can get some MGBs live on stream. Right, I'm gonna go into this here. What we've got here? Base damage doubled. I feel like we have to go with the um, the, the arc one here. About to get Berserk's blood to Gabe, which got us 60 strength, which is going to be quite good for our health, really, to be fair. So 58 is 1,284 HP. 60 more strength is basically doubling it. The arc one is going to go to 2. Well, it's going to go level up again now, so 2.8. Because I think 58 is going to be. I mean, yeah. Okay, no, 58 is 1,284. So we'll see when it gets to 60. It might say 60.1, uh, 60, or 61, or 62. Because it gains 2.4 per level. We'll see you in the next bit. I'm coming in here second to last, so... Wait, two people? I thought... Well, I thought that shows someone spawning there. Oh my god, I'm going to win this. Oh my god, it's a, it was a draw, technically, but... We came second, we came second. Ooh, aesthetics cap, tier 4 neutral item. Yeah man, I want to bring back some Call of Duty again. I have, I'm pretty sure I have like past, like past some past streams on my PC in the downloads folder. I may have to browse through that and see what I can do. Also, I just realised I had the other item on me. Didn't even use the diffuse blade. That's probably why I'm losing. But here we go, we're getting towards some games now. Still, only two levels of Plague Wards. I'm going to have to probably rush Plague Wards, but... Because when you get Plague Ward, Luminosity and Spirit Link together, the lifesteal is just insane when they get both of these. So obviously when you get this two game and Plague Wards gain the base passive effects of suppose from the caster, which means they get Luminosity, which heals um, well everybody around the Plague Wards. As you see here, it heals all allied heroes within 650 units. If five wards are both getting that hit, that's five different heals to the caster basically and everyone that's still around that's alive. It's insane. Yeah, this arc one is dangerous now. Has a maelstrom as well. Obviously I'm still losing the rounds, but we're gonna snowball. Okay, I may need to sacrifice here, to be fair. Ooh, I really want this and this. Okay, I'm going to... Sacrifice this lot. Drag you back, put you up there, so you can aggro. That's really good. If we get that to level 6, that's good. So it's the more lifesteal and more... More shared lifesteal, more attack speed. The attack speed is very essential for the Plague Wards. 
But we need to play once to get level 9, which means we need 7 of them. We might not get there, but we're on 70 HP in a dream. We're in the top 5. 3 people DC from the start, so we're technically 2nd to last right now. 4th place. Hopefully we can snowball from here. This guy's at the top right now. And we got absolutely destroyed. We're in last now, unfortunately. But we're here to snowball. Yes. That is good. Ooh. I'm, I feel like I'm just going to put this on just to have it there. Yes. Each time burning spears. Enemies within a 400 unit radius from the attack again stacks the burning spear. Obviously that goes with the focus fire, which has no mana cost and kills reset cooldown when it gets to Gaben, which is going to be good. We'll get the play board there. We'll skip that. And I feel like I'm going to get rid of this really quickly. Ooh, more burning spears. Pure damage will be good. We'll get that as well. I really want my focus fire on Gaben. We're going to push for it. Okay, we didn't quite get it. We've got level 5 on the Plague Wards now. We had level 2 before this round. We need to survive this next round though. I think I just took 30 damage. We're going to take a lot more if we lose now, I reckon. Unless we're going against this guy and I can actually beat him, I'm not even sure, but... We're against the guy in 3rd place. Okay, like, my Arc Warden is strong though, but not strong enough. We didn't lose. We only lost 26 HP there. There we go. Yes, there we go. Fox fire. Boom. And to be fair, if we can get all of the other abilities on the Arc Warden maxed out as well, we'll be looking at something good up there. We'll get that to Gaben. That is nice. That's a strong Gaben as well. So, it's a passive now, and it's twice as powerful radius effect. Along with this as well, adds a stacking debuff to affected enemies that cause them to deal 15% less damage per stack to the hero, max 6 stacks. Decreases the required number of attacks to proc by 1 as well, so he's going to constantly count a helix in. If I can get this to level 6, the stack duration stack limit on the reactive armor is going to be insane. Dispersion can be powerful, but obviously we need that to get higher as well. But it is what it is. Hopefully we can snowball from here, but we're against the guy at the top, so we're probably lost here. Yeah, just like that we are out because the game doesn't like me, I'm blacklisted. And I was never going to win that against nerds who don't stop playing this game. But thank you guys for watching, if you did enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, you know the same, all the same, all. And usual outro is stay safe, stay hydrated, look after yourselves, and look after each other. Goodbye, Mr. Evo, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.